So what we're going to do is we're going to decap this IC right here. What we've got to do is pick the correct gasket. Um, and ideally, you would have either a location plate or a location gasket as well. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have any that fit this particular IC right now. So we're just going to use a single definition gasket. Uh, first thing you've got to do is flatten the leads out so you have a nice uh, flat surface for your backing. Uh, essentially, I did that by just pressing it against the table and flatten them out. Now what I've got to do is apply the definition gasket to the IC. What I'm going to do is use a little bit of vacuum grease and on the part itself, this will help it stick to the gasket so it's not going to move all over the place when we are setting it on the etch head. Uh, and just get as close as possible to the center. Right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the machine. All right, now we've got our gasket and our part aligned correctly, we're going to go to the edge process. First thing we're going to do is we're going to select our program. And right now we're going to be running this at 90 degrees C for an edge time of 130 seconds using nitric acid only. We have an edge volume of 3 and a heat up time of 60 seconds. Now I'm going to hit start to make sure I save the program. And then I have to scroll down to the decapsulate selection. And right now I'm at the got a decap menu screen and it's showing me I've got all my parameters correct. So it's time to put my part and my gasket on the edge head and do the edge. What we do here is just try to line this up pretty square. It shouldn't really matter. The acid will flow where the gasket has the opening. I'm going to put my Teflon blank on. This helps to uh, spread out the pressure that's put on the part from the ram nose. It's on like that. <coughs> and I want to make sure I've got my acetone since I'm using nitric. I'm using acetone right now as my solvent to help neutralize it. <coughs> Clean the part off after getting the acid on there. Now we're going to hit start. And now we've got to wait for the heat up time to go through, which is 60 seconds. And the etch time right now is at 1.30. So it's going to be about you know, 200 seconds, maybe 215 seconds before this lid comes back up. We're coming to the end of our etch time. It's doing a waste purge. What I'm going to do <coughs> is go directly from my etch head with my part and my gasket and give them a rinse in the acetone bath. Remove the Teflon blank. Take my IC. I can drop that in, in this bath here and then I can fish it back out or you can just hold on to it and rinse it off with your acetone bottle. And since we're using nitric, we want to be using the acetone. Red with red, if that makes any sense. Get that a quick house. Now we're going to grab our gasket. Now when using acetone and these gaskets, you really want to make sure you're not leaving it in the acetone too long or else they'll swell up and they're not going to make good seals for you later. So I'm just going to give it a quick spritz, take it to my paper towel and dry it off. <coughs> and now we have a fairly clean gasket still, not too much swelling. So, and there's our IC right now. And we'll go check under the microscope how we've done. After we've completed our decapsulization process, we 
bring the part over to our microscope station. We place it on the tray on the microscope. Locate the die on the part. And at this point, we uh, search for any part marking information on the die that we can verify matches the exterior part marking, i.e. logos, part numbers, and things of that nature.